All right, so we got the first critter of the night here, guys. Check them out. See them, a little frog? So if we're going to help these animals across the road, I want everybody to, like, wet your hands in a puddle or something like that, and then try to pick them up, all right? We'll make sure they're in a bucket so they don't jump out of your hands. Car coming already, all right? Good timing. So this guy was heading this way. <laughs> so we just saved that guy. Maybe he might have got munched by the car. Well, let's keep looking. Here's the second critter of the night. Everybody know what it is? Uh, a red salamander. <laughs> Spotted salamander. So I got my hand nice and wet. All right. All right. So you can see they don't move too fast. And the fact that this guy escaped two cars that passed by while we were looking is just a miracle. All right. So take this guy. His body's real cold. All right. I'm going to flip him over. All right. You guys want to know how you can sex salamanders? You flip them over, and you see the male right there? He has... Cooperate for me, boy. See that big pouch underneath? All right, that's his cloaca right there. There's a big pouch right there. And inside that cloaca, he's carrying what are called spermatophores. So what this guy's gonna go, is the males go to the vernal pool first, and they get in the vernal pool, and they all get together, and they formed what's called, a male group is called a congress. Uh, for, fortunately, these guys know what they're doing as opposed to our Congress. They all get together and they throw out pheromones in the water, which when the females come, the females will be plump and they're full of eggs. They've been, German, they've been having eggs in their belly since January and February. They come in there, they find this, they smell this Congress, they taste it, I don't know how they get there, but they get to the Congress, all right? And in the, in the wetland, a female will come underneath the water and she'll attract a male and they'll do kind of this mating dance, all right? And if the female likes the male, um, the male will wiggle his tail and he'll kind of go off. And the female will come up behind him and if she likes him, he'll release a spermatophore, one of those in his pouches. And she'll go with her cloaca, all right? She'll go with her cloaca and she'll put it in, in, in and then she'll fertilize her eggs. Right. What's happening tonight is probably one of the most predictable things in nature in the East Coast here. And the migrating amphibians coming out from over and wintering uh, habitats into the vernal pool where they uh, breed in. And the vernal pools uh, this time of year are filled with snow melt and rainwater. Uh, like today, it's been raining steady all day. Um, the animals come into these vernal pools to breed. They lay the rags leave the vernal pools and the young salamander larvae and the tadpoles of the frogs have to complete their entire um, metamorphosis into an adult form by the end of the time that vernal pool dries up say july and august so they got to really uh, get going that's why they're here so early uh, they're they're uh, they're here at the end of march early april when the rains rain all day and into the night and it's over 40 degrees you got a pretty good thaw right now so that's what's happening tonight uh, I sp suspect we'll see the spotted salamander, and we'll see wood frogs, probably spring peepers. Um, and when we see all these animals, I'll explain a little bit more about their life cycles. You know, pretty cool stuff. And um, so I, I had everybody wash their hands, make sure they don't have anything, because we're going to help them across the road. They don't have any lotion, sunblock, you know, because amphibians breathe through their skin. Many of them have lungs, but they... They, uh, they suck air right through their skin, so you don't want to get that clogged into their, their pores. You could do, uh, do them harm. And safety is probably the most key if a car is coming. Um, you know, I know you, don't, you want to save that salamander, run out in front and grab that salamander, but it's not worth your life. All right, so make sure you don't get hit by a car. All right, that's the most important thing. All Here's right. somebody. Is that right, somebody? Let's go. <laughs> cool. Can I borrow a thing? Can I try to put him in? What's that? He's so close you can almost push him in the butt. Like get the little... Okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bud. You're so close. Come on, old buddy. <laughs> there, 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 there you go. Just bring him over. There you go. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's right now. There you go, Bill. <laughs> nice. Nice. No, we put the other one over there, man. 
It's definitely a different one, but it looks like another male. The females are, uh, like I said, much more plump. All right. Does so anyone want to? Anyone want to do this one? You were real excited, right? Steve, you got the better container. Um, no, I gave it to no. Yeah, I've got it. All right. That's more. All right. So you want to get your hands wet? All right. All right. Sometimes they're fast. Sometimes they're lethargic. But uh, you know, get the bucket a little wet too. All right. I pick them up. You can hold them for a second if you want to take a picture. And then as yeah. Just, you know, he's not going to break, but just don't squeeze him tight, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right? Pretty cool. You want to hold him for a sec? Just put your hand in front of his head in case he wants to go. Do you know what I mean? Cool. It's <laughs> all right. And you know what? The good thing is we haven't found a single dead one in the road, so those cars coming through haven't hasn't gotten any yet. All right. So what we have here, right here, guys, is a red aft. Um, I'm kind of real excited to see them. I wanted to see them. I wanted to talk to you guys about them, but not underneath these circumstances. Um, the red aft has a terrestrial form of the eastern spotted newt. This is salamander was coming down to that wetland. And as soon as it hit the wetland, it would have got a big fat green tail and it would have turned into an almost aquatic species of salamanders that, you know, comes out once in a while. But this guy was on his way to his vernal pool and didn't make it. Um, they're a common species like the spotted. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not like we found a, a rare Jefferson salamander. But nonetheless, this guy is still, still sad to see, that's for sure. But that's the reason why we're out here. Um, yeah, very sad. So that's the wood frog I wanted to find, one of these things. Let me get my hands wet. All right, so let me just talk about him, right? This guy's super cool. This is, in this pool here, the other obligate vernal pool species, meaning they're obliged. They have to live, they, they have to breed in this vernal pool. They don't breathe in any other uh, habitats like rivers or lakes or ponds, anywhere where there's fish, they will not breed. Only in these little tiny temporary pools like the spotted salamander. All right, and I'm looking at this one, he's really black. Um, so he's telling me generally the darker ones are males. All right, the coolest thing about wood frogs is they overwinter in the leaf litter or not even too far underground and they freeze solid. They have a sort of antifreeze within their systems that protects their vital organs from freezing. So in the, in the spring when everything starts thawing out, literally they thaw out as well and then hop on their merry way. Now this thing is a four-toed salamander. All right, let me get my hands wet. All right. Nice catch, man. This is a phenomenal salamander. All right. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right. Now, they call them four-toed salamanders. Why do you think? Four toes. They have four toes, yeah. And he's really cool if I can get him to cooperate. Underneath them, the bottom of them, He's really pretty. He's really speckly underneath him. He's like he's speckled. He's gorgeous. Now this salamander was thought to be uh, less common than it really is, and it was recently delisted by Massachusetts um, from being a protected species because more populations of these guys are found. What this guy or this female, I can't really tell with the spot. It looks like he's kind of swollen in the back. Um, what this salamander is going to do is have a little clutch of eggs underneath a tussock in uh, that, that swampy wetland in there. And she'll lay the eggs underneath there. Unlike the spotted salamander and the wood frogs who have these great big, uh, thanks, these great big uh, massive clutches of eggs. We can give them a little water. Obviously a little mud puddle water, not the finest of water, but that's, there you go. But uh, yeah, so a really delicate, beautiful salamander. You really never expect to see these on any nights, so when you find them, it's really cool. Nice job, Steve. Very cool. Put them across me. Yeah, man. <laughs> nice. 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 That's, that's four. That one's a four-toed salamander. So that's, wow, that's four species tonight. Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Nice, man. So what? So we got here the fifth species. All right. That's too cool. That's it. A toad. Oh, it's another. <laughs> <laughs> very there. cool. He's very cool. Oh, wow. What a beast, huh? He is super neat. Oh my God, wow. Yeah, yeah. So they don't breed this time of year. They breed a little bit. Yeah, he's squeaking. <laughs> they breed a little later in the year. But, uh, but he's definitely a cool toad. We are up to five species tonight. Oh, you hear him? Hello. You hear him? That's the I'm a dude call. <laughs> hear him? And he's vibrating. You see he's vibrating? So he's telling me that, listen, let's, you know, let's break up and wait for the girl to come. <laughs> Very cool. Is it? Uh, he's like, how come you're not releasing? Everybody knows this call. <laughs> so let's put him, put him over here. Nice call. You are the MVP tonight, man. That is fantastic. Holy cow, man! I I was look. I, I didn't see until I got a close look at him. This is holy. This is like one of the most species night rich night I've ever seen. This is a red back salamander. Now the funny thing is he doesn't breed in Verna pools. He's just out and about because it's a rainy night, right? These guys breed underneath wet and moist logs. These salamanders are totally terrestrial, land dwelling their entire lives. They hardly ever go into uh, wetlands. So this guy just lives under logs. They're one of our, they are the most common salamander we have in the Berkshires. And uh, all you gotta do is lift up some uh, logs and stuff and some rocks in the summer, you'll find these guys. And the female lays eggs underneath like a moist log and she'll, and she'll, uh, she'll actually guard the eggs. Pretty cool. Very cool, a whole different species. Six species tonight, people. Good grief. This is a nice rich habitat over here. Fantastic. 